I still need to get a vibrator. Vibrator? So you want to go to Ollivander's then? I got all the good shit in there. Anyway, lads, I'm just going for a shit. Hello? Hello? Oi! Ah, you're all right, Potter. Sorry about that, mate. I was just busting a little wank. Sorry about that. Right. What I'll do for you today, then? Nice little vibrator. Oh, I can remember your mum had one. Oh, and she loved it. She really fucking loved it. Creaming down her twat she was. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm just gonna... That's it. Right, then. Oh, it feels so good to touch it again. There you go, Gazer. Thank you. Well, go on then, mate. Give it a nice wobble. Sorry about that. Right, that's clearly not the right one. Hang on. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. Old-fashioned vibrator, this one should do it. Right. Use this one carefully. Oh, I've done it again. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Paul. I told you to use it carefully, didn't I? Silly twat. Sorry. Right. This one should do it. Oh, can't be too sure, though. What can he do with it? Oh, come on, you grumpy fucker. Oh, shut the fuck up. Got a prosthetic leg for fuck's sake. Right then. Here you go then, geezer. Now, this is very delicate. So f please, just use it wisely. Think of all the men I can tap with this. I can feel it too, mate. <laughs> oh, jizzy, mate. Wow. I think they're creaming already. Mate, just hang on, just hand it back over a minute. That was brilliant. I was, that's the best jizz I've had in my life, mate. But just listen in. Now, I'm not going to say his name, because, um, well, he's basically the guy that gave you uh, that, uh, you know, that scar. But he attracted some very, uh, very ugly girls with fishy fannies. Oh, they stank, they did. He had no nose, though, so that's a bonus.